Hey guys, my name is Kramer and today I'll be showing you what I believe to be two of the most overpowered brushes for digital art. I will be delving deep into the mechanisms and techniques available for these two brushes, so hopefully you'll be able to learn some things from this video. I don't want to waste your time, so without further ado, the first of these two brushes is the soft round brush. I know you're probably already aware of this brush, but let me explain some of the special things you can do with it. Now, this is one of the most basic brushes available, yet it is also one of the most powerful. This is evident through the fact that many of the brush packs given out by professional artists all contain this one brush. So why is this the case? Why is this a brush so special despite it being so simple? Well, the power of this brush comes from its insanely powerful ability to quickly and easily render 3D forms. Like, if you watch this right now, you'll see that a few simple brush strokes was able to extremely quickly render something that resembles a tube. This type of technique is mainly used for quickly defining forms to shapes, such as spherical ones. For example, hair, eyeballs, certain parts of skin like the cheeks and shoulders, etc. As you probably noticed from the examples I showed, another thing that makes the soft round brush so powerful is when paired with the selection tool. And here you can see what can truly be accomplished when you use both of them together. You're able to quickly render out shapes and add shadows to certain sections of your image without having to worry about the shade bleeding out onto other parts of the image. Similarly, and perhaps more applicably, is using clipping masks slash alpha lock in combination with the soft round brush. This achieves the same type of effect as when you use the selection tool and is particularly useful for adding gradients and slight tints of ambient color to an image. It is also perfect for situations where you simply want to touch up on and make small adjustments to the hue, saturation, or value of a certain part of the image. For example, a common situation would be using this brush to add a slight blush to the cheeks. Next up, let's move on to the hard round brush. The hard round brush is naturally great for creating sharp and defined lines and for adding details to your artwork, but it is capable of so much more than that. I mean, just watch how effortlessly Sam this art renders uh, hair here. The hard round brush is capable of creating amazing pieces of art completely by itself, as has been shown in these various hard brush only videos. This brush excels when you have a strong amount of brush stroke confidence, and you can see its outlines in artworks done by people such as Wallop and Nixu, in areas that are usually not the focal point. Now, this type of technique is definitely quite a hard one to pull off, and it's very easy to make something look garbage. To pull this off, you'll have to have quite a good understanding of color, lighting, form, and material textures. But still, it's something that is very achievable and just goes to show how limitless the potential of this simple brush is. Despite the high skill cap, this brush is actually widely recommended by artists for beginners. This is because the hard round brush teaches you about shape control and shape language, which are two very important skills in digital art and are skills that you might not have if you come from a more traditional sketching background. Being able to represent shapes with brush strokes will help you learn to break down complex forms and figures. And another reason that the brush is recommended for beginners is that the hard round brush is capable of pretty much anything you'd want to accomplish. And this makes it much simpler on the artist since you don't have to worry about picking which tool to use for the job. Another thing that makes both the soft round brush and the hard round brush both are so powerful is their simplicity. It makes using and wielding them much easier as you don't have to guess uh, anything unlike some textured brushes or color shifting brushes. This makes them especially great for both beginner and advanced artists, since for beginner artists, it simplifies the process for them, and for advanced artists, it makes it easier to transfer thoughts onto the page without any resistance. Well, that's it for this video. Comment and let me know if there's anything important that I missed. A like or a sub would be greatly appreciated, and hopefully I'll see you guys next time.